Hi, kindergartners. This week we are talking about B-side. Do you recognize that sign? That is the same as our sign for next to. B-side and next to mean the same thing. Our other word that we're talking about this week is between, and that sign looks a lot like through, but we're not going to go all the way through. We're going to set our hand right here. And we're going to give it a little shake because when we're between things, we stay right there in the middle. So the first thing I want to do today, guys, is I want to read a story called In Between Things. Um, and in that story, it talks about a cat and a dog and all the things that they are in between. So we'll read that story and then I want to practice a little bit of um, looking for things that are in between and putting things in between. So let's go ahead and read that story and then we'll do a little practice with In Between. In Between Things by Priscilla Tay. An in-between thing is a thing in the middle. The cat is between the table that's green and the chair with a tear sitting right over there. There's the cat in between. The dog is between the floor and the cat and does not enjoy being in the middle like that. The chair is between the parrot and the carpet the carpet is between the floor and the chair. What will you find between the floor and the carpet? Yuck! A fur ball, a dust ball, and a nasty clump of hair. But it doesn't stop there. Between the floor and the ground below lies a world of in-between things to show. Pick any two things to look in between Look left and look right. There's so much to be seen. An in-between thing can separate two things, which is sometimes a helpful and necessary thing. The glass is in between, keeps fish wet and us dry, and it separates the cat from that tasty looking guy. So the, the fish bowl is between the cat and the fish, keeping the fish safe. If you build a fort and fill it with light, it will separate you from the monsters at night. If you travel outside and then back in once more, an in-between thing that you'll need is a door. A door separates one room from the other. It is in between. Doors take you through walls separating kitchens from halls and you from that pie filled with scrumptious meatballs. An in-between thing can transport you somewhere, take you to places from here over there. You can walk down the in-between coal-colored street that's in between this house and the house that has feet. And if you meet an in-between stream or creek, cross an in-between bridge for dry paws and dry feet. The bridge is between the two sidewalks. Some spaces between places can stretch very far. Don't walk all those places. Take a train or a car. Take little bits of this and little bits of that, and in between thing is the mix that you'll get. Take a little bit of yellow and a little bit of blue, and the in between color is a new greenish hue. Green is in between yellow and blue. When a bit of wet rain hits a bit of dry sand, the mud feels sticky and damp on your hand. A little bit of skirt and a little bit of short and the in-between outfit you get is a skort. A little bit of spoon and a little bit of fork and the in-between tool you get is a spork. If you dance a little jiggy and add a little wiggle, your in-between jiggle will make everyone giggle. For an in-between thing, no matter how absurd, there is always some form of an in-between word. Between oink and meow, you might hear moink kiao. Between cow and zebra, you have a zebra. If you thought of a thing between a giraffe and a poodle, you could create a poor, a poofy and spotted geroodle. <laughs> not quite this and not that. In between things aren't clear yet. The sky is dim, neither dark nor light. Is it sunrise or sunset? Is it daybreak or night? Are you out in the cold or too close or too hot? Or are you warm in that in-between spot? 
Look around for in between things to scribble. Try making yourself the thing in the middle. So maybe you could stand in between things. Keep looking eyes open and in between things will come clear. All kinds of wacky and weird will appear. Search and explore every cranny and nook around the world in your head and between the two covers of this book. The end. Wasn't that a fun story? So many things between in that story. Um, so now I wanted to do a little bit of practice with between. And when I think of between, I think of a sandwich. I think of a sandwich because a sandwich is made up of two pieces of bread and then you put stuff in between. My sandwich does not have anything in between yet. We need to put some stuff in between. So what are some things we could put in between slices of bread to make a sandwich? Maybe you like peanut butter and jelly. Maybe you like Nutella or marshmallow fluff. Me, I like cheese in my sandwiches. So I would have a piece of bread and I would put a piece of cheese in between the two slices of bread, in between. But that's kind of a boring sandwich. What are some other things we can put on with the cheese to make a delicious sandwich? Another thing you could put on was some ham. I could put some ham on my bread and put my other piece on top. And now I have ham and cheese between my two pieces of bread. But even better, maybe a little bit of lettuce. A little bit of lettuce. Here, and lettuce here. Oh, look at all of that stuff that is between my two pieces of bread. And I've got cheese and ham and lettuce between my two pieces of bread. What a delicious sandwich. So now what I would like you to do is look around your house and see if there's a place where you can stand where you are between two things. Maybe you could stand between the wall and the couch. Maybe you could stand between the TV and the bookshelf. And I would love for you to take a picture or take a video and tell Mrs. Holmes what you are standing between. I can't sit, wait to see what you come up with.